Tom here from Lawrence Systems, and we're going to talk a little more about that exchange problem. We know more now than when I did the video just a couple days ago with Huntress, which I'll leave a link to, and we knew everyone had to get patched, and we'd reached out to people we know that were running Exchange. I am lucky enough not to have any of my managed clients running Exchange. We've migrated them off of that into different cloud services because, as anyone who's worked with Exchange will tell you, it is a bear to update. It is a, well just not easy when you load exchange updates. Sometimes they go well, sometimes they do not, and they can be very messy when things don't go well. Now, the problem really comes in specifically with this flaw with on-premise hosted exchange. And the flaw was discovered a little bit sooner than we realized here. So even though we only announced this a few days ago as in the security community, and I did a video on this topic, we actually learned that it was early January when this flaw was discovered and then also reported to Microsoft. So we have the active exploitation of multiple zero days in exchange vulnerabilities. The code base that exchange was based on, we know goes back at least 10 years where that this vulnerability is exploitable because they even kind of did an out of band, out of support patch for an older obsolete version of exchange. And as I said, that means this vulnerability has lasted at least 10 years in the code. Now, because Microsoft didn't know about it, that's not where you want to hold their feet to the fire. And they have the whole demonstration. I'll be leaving links to all these down below of exactly how the bypass works. And by the way, it's almost trivial once you know how to do it uh, to get in there and pull emails through the Outlook web access. You know, the quick and dirty is to turn off Outlook web access and block it. But of course, blocking email to people who remotely get their email is not necessarily a solution. That's just the stop doing it. And I love how they put the little game over. It is really this quick for someone to grab and pull all the emails out of a system. Like it's, it's while fast. And uh, that's what the threat actors did. Once this was discovered, they started doing it slowly and quietly. And it seems like once there was some uh, information out there that this was available and that the security researchers were onto them, that's when, well, I think right now I've heard numbers of 60 thousand plus exchange servers compromised. So uh, this problem has grown exponentially. And The Verge has an article that says Microsoft was warned months ago, and that does go all the way back to January. And I think Krebs did a nice job of putting together a timeline here. And this timeline is really, well, it just doesn't look good for Microsoft. Microsoft is not some startup small company that has not enough team of programmers to fix something. Microsoft is a large company, as we all know, and just has decided, in my opinion, not to put the resources needed to get this patched faster. So despite them being notified that this was actively being done, they did nothing to let the world know, is at least we could have told them to shut off the Exchange server uh, before they lost all their emails, especially because this now includes you know financial institutions and many large scale companies. And uh, there's more and more researchers as a seen email getting exfiltrated and people compromising these servers, uh, Microsoft took all the way till March 2nd to get the patch out, which is just ridiculous. And I, I think it just goes to say that Microsoft, I think, my opinion again, is they do not really care about on-prem exchange anymore. This is the, yeah, we'll get around to it. Yeah, those people probably should use our uh, Office 365 subscription plan where we keep things up to date and patched because please note, Office 365 and their you know, own version that they host, it was apparently not affected or fixed and patched if they do have the same code base and really less than clear on how similar exchanges to what they actually host in the cloud. My feeling is it's not the same, but either way, Microsoft, uh, the writing's on the wall for Microsoft. Yeah, if you use those products, we'll patch them um, once it becomes like such a big problem that it becomes the news story in mainstream news media and 60,000 companies have been compromised. Like I said, I don't feel like they're really taking the patch seriously. I will also leave a link if you want to dive into post-exploitation analysis. John Hammond did a great long in-depth video on this topic. Uh, it's really, if you want to know all the things, it's not just, you know, exfilling email and pulling all that data out. It's also the web shells that get on there and all the other things, because once they are in from the exchange server, which generally is tied to the rest of your domain, the lateral movement can be quite scary through the network. And people keep asking, well, can I patch it? And doesn't that solve the problem? 
that solves it from happening. But if it already happened, uh, post remediation is messy because you have to go back and trace what they did. And uh, that's going to be a non-trivial task as well. Uh, look through some of the post exploitation and you see some of the types of lateral movement they did across your network. But it's hard to say exactly in each scenario what was done. And so, yeah, remediation is certainly a pain, especially because with a mail server, if you have mail coming in, you find out it's been compromised for two days, you one, want to roll back to a known good backup. Also, you just we have two extra days of mail that came in that you have to try to merge and sort out and figure out what was compromised and did they take all those emails there's another piece of it depends on how good your logging is to determine that so this whole thing's just a giant mess but i'll leave links if you want to read more in depth on it i just think it's an interesting topic but i really think it shows microsoft's kind of I don't know. I don't feel there's committed to exchange anymore and on-prem. I think their goal is to get you into the cloud, get you on a subscription. Uh, let me know your comments below. I, you know, this is still a good discussion topic and I'm sure we're going to keep learning more as things go on. Get patching though. Thanks. And thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this content, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from this channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. To hire a share project, head over to lawrencesystems.com and click on the hire us button right at the top. To help this channel out in other ways, there's a join button here for YouTube and a Patreon page where your support is greatly appreciated. For deals, discounts, and offers, check out our affiliate links in the descriptions of all of our videos, including a link to our shirt store where we have a wide variety of shirts and new designs come out, well, randomly, so check back frequently. And finally, our forums. Forums.lawrencesystems.com is where you can have a more in-depth discussion about this video and other tech topics covered on this channel. Thank you again, and we look forward to hearing from you. In the meantime, check out some of our other videos.